Master Two. Sales remastered. What do you find is going to be the most common things that they face that's causing these low numbers or these type of things that putting them towards the bottom? Yeah, I think um, what's causing the low numbers is your circle. Is um, is is because the people who you surround yourself with are going to be a heavy influence on yourself, your production. Because what happens is if you're the top producer within your circle, what they say is you're in the wrong circle, right? If you're making the most money in your circle, you're unfortunately you're in the wrong circle. If you're hang if you're hanging around with people that are negative, like Debbie Downers, that always see kind of the problem or, or the issues about something, you need to kind of block them out, right? And move on to a group that actually sees a silver lining in things. And that's a little bit more positive. Now I'm not talking about go go hang out with happy, you know, the over annoying like, hey, it's a great day. <laughs> oh, it's so awesome, you know, chippity or whatever, too much caffeine. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about people like that will actually push you and motivate you and say, hey, bro, I'm gonna do two sales today. How much you got? Off oh, that, I'm gonna do three. All right, bet. Makes sense. Like that type of that type of energy. Where if you if you hang around with people and all they do is complain like, man, these leads suck, all right? Or the market sucks. What's gonna happen is that's gonna influence your emotion as well. And so then when you have a bad experience, you're gonna lean on that as well. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? The market does suck. That's why I'm not making any sales. Instead of looking at other people who are producing and be like, wait, but he could do it. I know I could do it too, right? What's he doing that I'm not doing? And that's something that I think helped me rise above in every environment that I've ever been in was that I, I found out who was killing it, who was making it, who's making the numbers. And, and cause you're going to notice like when we do rallies, um, you know, the rallies are right. They call out the president's club members. You know, those people consistently at the top. And so what you have to do is just see what they're doing. Like watch what they're doing from afar. You don't need to ask them like, Hey, can you be my mentor? Like hit, hit up their manager, right? And be like, Hey, what is this guy doing? Right. Or send them a one off email and be like, Hey, congrats, dude. You're killing it every single month. Hey, just curious, you know, what's your secret? Something like that. Right. But it doesn't necessarily mean like, Hey, can you mentor me? Can I sit by you? Right. Cause that's kind of awkward. Right. Like, fuck, man, I'm the new person. This person doesn't want me sitting by their desk. I feel awkward. I feel weird. And you don't have to do that. Um, but me for that matter, you guys come up to me anytime and be like, Hey D, how do I do this? Cause I just love it. And I, and I, that I, I'm wired that way and I like solving problems. Right. But the key is like find the top producers and emulate them.